Hi, my name is Thorsten Schmidt and welcome back on the NMS Prime channel. Today I want to show you how you can monitor your CMTS devices and your switches and stuff like this. Um, we've developed NMS Prime. I am the founder of NMS Prime and NMS Prime is a free and open source provisioning system. Um, we use the CACTI module inside NMS Prime. CACTI is one of the biggest monitoring solutions in the open source environment. Um, it's a really strong tool and it's really cool. And all the stuff that we are doing with monitoring is based on the CACTI environment. And there's just one first thing that you need to know that um, of course you can use um, the information inside this video uh, without the NMS Prime system, but um, maybe then you have to figure more out how you can uh, use the templates which we by default provide when you install NMS Prime. So if you install NMS Prime with RPM, then all the stuff uh, that I want to explain you now is just ready set up. And if you don't use NMS Prime and you're just looking because you want to use uh, or get some information uh, how you can use CACTI, then this is also quite cool, but you need to figure out a little bit more how to implement uh, and use some kind of templates, which we provide by default. So that's it for now. So if you um, logged in through the NMS Prime system after setting up your system, then you see here we've got a link for our external system. And here we've got the CACTI system, which is used for monitoring. And here we've got the Isinga 2 system, which is used for real-time uh, measurements. So first we just uh, click on the CACTI um, API. Um, I have still already set up all my default passwords um, to, to my own passwords. And now I'm just logged in. And just to get a basic um, overview, on the top you see uh, four different sections and actually these two are just interesting um, for our usage. So if you click uh, through graphs, um, then you will see of course all um, the graphs which are actually uh, designed. And um, here we've got different trees and if you go to console, then you can set up the entire uh, system by your own. So in what we want to do next, um, this was our professional professional system. I want to jump to our demo system and show you the same things here because we don't can show you uh, customer data from our own system. So, okay, again, we click CACTI console. I've still logged in. And um, like I explained, the next thing that is quite important is that you've got devices and devices is just a normal or all the hosts which are monitored by CACTI. Um, if you don't have any search input, then you first see all the cable modems which automatically are added with the NMS Prime system. And um, now we want to search, for example, for CMTS, then just type in um, the name of your CMTS. So when we jump back, here we see how our CMTS device is called. And um, what is automatically done is when you add a new CMTS inside the NMS Prime system, then the uh, corresponding host of the CACTI module is, or of the CACTI device is automatically added. So this means, um, for example, the dev cable gateway 10 was automatically added inside NMS Prime. So if we jump into this device, then we just see some basic information, how the, how the device is called and what's the host name. And here we've got the SNMP settings. It's just default settings, so public, but it's no, uh, no problem because it's uh, restricted with access lists. So the public, uh, of course, in the production system should be changed. And what is also, or what is the next important thing is that you see the associated data queries. And here we see we've got our default template for Cisco CMTSs. And here we've got the interface uh, statistics, which is a default template provided by CACTI. And the next cool thing what we see here is that it automatically fetches and we've got in success all the SNMP um, interfaces, which are corresponding to them. And this, for example, means um, the CMTS has uh, 63 rows, so 63 interfaces this should be with 290 items and 326 items. And this is um, automatically done by CACTI when the interfaces are added or when um, the device is added. 
And for example, we've got our own Cisco CMDS device template. So this is provided by default from NMS Prime and this Cisco CMDS associates um, the corresponding data queries which are um, correlating with them. And um, after adding the CMTS and NMS Prime, this stuff is automatically added and the interfaces and data queries are automatically fetched. So the only thing that you need to do um, if you want to monitor stuff um, or if you want to add the diagrams is that you just click to create new diagrams. And then we've got um, the um, GUI for adding new diagrams. And first of all, here you've got the entire host list. So of course you need to search for your um, CMTS, which you want to add diagrams. And then what we see first is here, we've got our data query for Cisco CMTSs. And if we scroll a little bit down, here you can select the kind of diagram which should be added. And at the time we provide two different types of diagrams. The first is Cisco CMTS overview and the packet analysis diagram. And then you can select or next you see all the interfaces and then you can add these diagrams. I just want to show you how it works very soon. And the next thing that we see is that we here have got our second data query, which uh, you remember was the SNMP interface statistics. And here we see all the interfaces and all here we can also add uh, new diagrams. And here on the section below, we've got the type of the diagram which we want to add. So it's built just like the same. And for example, default is um, traffic statistic with 46, uh, 64 bit counters. And this is just quite normal. And maybe we just stay here and I want to show you how you can monitor, for example, the downstreams of your CMTSs. Then it's um, just simply that you need to select the interfaces which you want to be uh, monitored. And then you clear, you select the diagram, which is actually uh, what we want to do, the 64 bit counters. And then we simply say create. And that's all we need to do. And afterwards, the diagrams are automatically created. So maybe we just say, OK, we also want to monitor um, our VLAN interface here. And maybe we want to monitor all, th all the traffic inside the cable to slash zero section and then we just say create and afterwards um, the diagrams are created it says the operation was successful details are below so that's all the magic and maybe now just some cool uh, advices for you how you can um, speed it up and make it a little bit more comfortable especially when you are using big cmts's with more than uh, eight uh, downstreams and upstreams. So what I, for example, always do is that maybe we just uh, say, okay, now we want to add all the upstream interface statistics and then just call Cisco CMTS. This just makes the GUI a little bit more, uh, more easy because now we only can um, create data queries from the Cisco CMTS. And the next thing is that um, Cisco CMTS devices, we can only monitor upstream channels. And here we type just in upstream. And then we only see the channels uh, which can have um, a Cisco CMTS. And in, the, in our uh, system, in the demo system, all the diagrams are still added. But normally you should see large list, maybe if you have a 10K with all the upstream interfaces, or maybe 100. And then you just click in select all. And now you say create the diagrams and the magic happens and the diagrams are available soon. So maybe just one cool advice, which is new in version 2.4 is that, for example, if you are inside the network overview and you jump into for a cluster, for example, here the cluster is called DAMF, then you've got a new section which is called diagrams. And if you click toward this, then you only see the diagrams of the associated uh, interfaces inside the CMTS. And here, for example, we see the Cisco CMTS overview template. So this was the template we are talking uh, about yet. 
and we see upstream uh, signal to noise we've got the upstream power and we've got the upstream utilization so everything uh, interesting for an upstream is available here so okay um, maybe we jump back to Kakti um, like I explained after adding the diagrams it takes five to ten minutes and from then on you will see the diagrams inside your graphs inside the trees and if you set up the clusters correctly and stuff like this then of course you should also see it inside here so maybe we should make a separate video about how we should set up the clusters give them a like uh, and then we will put more content uh, of this topic towards you um, so maybe just let me have a look at my paper what is also interesting Mm -mm. Yeah, maybe one thing um, what makes sometimes problems uh, or which is uh, good to know is if you have problems with how the diagrams are named. Uh, Kakti got a complex naming uh, infrastructure and I just want to show you how our approach is. Um, what you can see is that we always uh, adapt an alias. So an interface alias, and this is done inside the CMTS configuration. So for example, if you are inside an upstream, you can type in description and then you can give the interface a name, so an interface alias. And this is used when drawing all the diagrams. And if this stuff, for example, uh, did not work for maybe interface statistics, so for traffic counters, um, then you just uh, then I just want to show you how the naming conventions inside Kakti for diagrams are made. So this is quite uh, not complicated, but it's a little bit difficult to find how things work. So um, first of all, we need to jump to data queries, and then we see um, all the generic data queries which are available for our system. And as I explained, interface statistics for uh, traffic statistics is default by Kakti. And um, now we jump inside this and here we see all the different diagrams types which we could select um, when we add diagram. And now we go into the diagram of 64-bit uh, counters for the traffic management. And what we see here is here we've got the logic of how the diagrams are named. And what you need to know is that the first or the, the highest um, line is always the dominant line. So if all the queries inside uh, these interfaces um, are perfectly set, then they automatically use this line. And this implies, for example, here's quite a good, um, quite a good example that all our diagrams in, with 64-bit counters are just named with the interface. And what this implies, maybe I will show you here, is for example, maybe let's search for a traffic diagram. Yeah, is that we've just see the interface description for our diagrams. Maybe here it is cool. But for example, if you're working with big switches and you want to name your interfaces and don't want to see just gigabit one, gigabit two, gigabit three, so instead you want to see Gigabit 1 is the CMTS, Gigabit 2 is the provisioning server. Then we jump back uh, to what I've showed you. And then we go again inside SNMP interface statistics, 64-bit counters. And then we want to see the interface alias on the top of the diagrams. And for this purpose, we just put this line above at the beginning. And maybe we also do it inside um, the data source, but this is not quite important. We just do it inside the suggested values for graphs. We save it. And then always a good uh, information. What you can do is um, if you want to reapply the names. Uh, so for example, if we had wrong names, so maybe we should just find a cool example where we can see that it works or we just test it. If we want to reassign the names with the new calculation we are using, then we just go inside graphs, we, we select a device, our CMTS, and then what you can do is just uh, say maybe we want to see 500 diagrams so we don't need to uh, skip through different sites. That's also a good high end also during adding. 
So um, by default, I guess only uh, 20 or 30 diagrams are showed. And uh, this implies that you get multiple sides. And if you want to avoid this for adding and selecting, then just type in 500. So you see all the diagrams. And here we say select all. And what we can do next is that we choose an action. And the action is, for example, reapply suggested names. And this does automatically reapply all the suggested names. We click continue. And then we've got the actual values of the new assigned clusters. And um, I guess here we see a change. This is done. Uh, here is the internal description used. This is a description, I guess, from command line, which the traffic interface was called internal new. And this is all the magic. What is also quite cool to know is that if you are inside um, a device, like I showed you, um, here we are the data queries. And if you rename an interface inside a CMTS or inside a switch, then you first you need to reload. Or if you plug in new modules, then you need to reload um, the interface statistics for Cacti to uh, add new diagrams or reapply names of the diagrams. So that's for this purpose, we just reload the interface. And then we can do all the stuff like I told you. And that's all the magic. So I guess <laughs> was many informations. Um, maybe you have to look at twice, at least some parts of the videos to uh, get a better understanding what I do. Like I explained to you, the basic step is here are the consoles, here are the graphs, here are the devices, so the CMTS devices. Um, if you add a diagram or a device, you can do this here. CMTS devices are automatically added by NMS Prime and they are automatically assigned to a corresponding device template, for example, CMTS, Cisco. And this implies all the associated uh, data queries and associated diagrams, which are automatically fetched. And if we want to add diagrams, we just go to new graphs. And then we select the device which we want to add the diagrams. Then we could select if we just want to see Cisco or if we just want to add Cisco CMTSs or if we want to add normal traffic diagrams. Um, and then, for example, we just say, OK, we want to add um, maybe just one more example. We just want to add the traffic diagrams for uh, all the upstreams. Then we type in the search word upstream like it's done here. We've selected, select all the diagrams. We click create. And now we should see that these eight diagrams are created automatically. And the cool thing is because we switched our um, naming convention inside the SNMP interface a module that automatically the diagrams are named by our associated aliases. And these are the descriptions inside the CMTS upstream channels. Um, if you want to reassign names or if you want to do other stuff, then just go into graphs and here you've got all the graphs from one device and then you can select them. You can also delete diagrams inside here. And like I showed you, you can also reapply suggested names or deleting stuff is also done here. So, okay, that's... Um, that's the first video about how the Cacti um, is working and how it is interacting with NMS Prime. Um, if you have any questions about this topic, then just leave some comments uh, below. Um, don't forget to subscribe to our newsletter and thanks for watching. We will see you in the next video. Bye.